What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over decision making in PHP. And in particular, I want to go over some control structures like the if, else if, and else control structures within PHP itself. You're going to find that the if control structure is extremely important within PHP and most coding languages because it allows for conditional execution of code depending on whether or not a condition is true or false. And I'm going to show you exactly what that means in this video. If you not already part of the community, make sure you subscribe and click the notification icon so whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. And code snippets can be found on my website, picksomeweb.com. Go to the PHP section and you can go to the section for the various code snippets that will be on this video. Now, with a quick overview, we have some pseudocode over here. We have the if construct. Inside the opening and closing parentheses here, we have a condition. Now, if this condition is true, then inside the opening and closing Using curly brace, we're going to execute whatever code is inside those braces. Now, if this evaluates to false, then we go down to the next option. In this case, we have an else if, and if this condition is true, then we'll execute this code. And if this is false, we'll go down to the next one and so on until we get to a true statement or a true condition. All right, so if you want to copy any of these code snippets and try them out in the editor, feel free to do so. But right now I'm going to jump into VS Code. Okay, so now I'm inside Visual Studio Code. I'm in my root folder for this PHP project. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it if underscore else dot PHP. I'm going to get rid of the sidebar here. I'll make this bigger so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so I'll open up my PHP tags. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a variable A and assign that the value of 20. Then I'll create another variable B and assign that the value of 25. Now, basically, what we're going to do here is demonstrate how the if construct works. So I'll type out if and then my opening and closing parentheses. And then I'll say if A is greater than B, so that's the condition we're checking here. Then I'll open up my curly braces. I'll say echo A is greater than B. And now I'm just going to concatenate a PHP constant, which is the end of line. All right, so now let's say else, if this evaluates to false, we're going to say echo A is not greater than B. I'm going to put my quotation marks around that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my terminal and let's see what the result is here. I'm going to type out PHP and this is going to allow me to output what's in this file into the terminal. Type out if underscore, and I'll use tab completion, enter. So since the first condition of A being greater than B is false, that snippet does not end up getting displayed in the browser or in the terminal. Instead, it's jumping down to the else condition and saying A is not greater than B. So that's our first example. But now what happens here if we say A is also assigned the value of B? We save that. We still get the same result, but we know that A is equal to B at this point. So in this case, what we should do is have another else if condition check over here. And then we'll say A is equal to B. Let me clean this up real quick. Echo A is equal to B. So the first condition here, if A is greater than B, well, I'll put this. If this is not true, then we'll jump down to this next conditional check over here. Else if, if A is equal to B, then we'll output A is equal to B. And if this is false, then we'll get to the else statement down here. Save that, go back to your terminal, hit the up arrow, and now we get A is equal to B. Now let's go back to the browser onto my website and see what other examples we have. So these are just some examples of using the if construct. Here we're checking to see what age group is visiting our website based on user being logged in. And that will determine what type of content we share with our users. So that's one example. Here's another example. If the person is logged in, then we can echo out logged in or else we can say not logged in. Now obviously you make this a little bit more complex depending 
depending on how you're getting the information from your database. But now I also want to show you the alternative syntax you could use instead of the curly braces. So let's go back to VS Code. All right, so you see here we're using our curly braces to go to each different conditional check. Now we could do something else. We can, instead of using the curly braces, we can say, matter of fact, let me just copy all this. And then I'll remove that. Remove this. Remove that curly brace. Then here, I'll type out end if. So let me go over here just so I can show you what's happening. So again, we're using the same format with the if, opening and closing parentheses. But instead of using the curly braces, we're using the colon over here. Then we're going to echo this out if that's true. If it's not true, then we jump into the else if and we use a colon here. And if this is true, we echo this information out. And we keep on doing this until we get to a true statement or a true condition. Once we reach that, at the bottom of it, we have the end if. Go to the terminal, hit the up arrow, and then you see we get the same exact result. When is this good to do? What you're going to often see is people want to maybe embed some HTML in between their PHP tags or their PHP snippets of code. So since PHP is an embedded type language, you can jump in and out of PHP and HTML very seamlessly. So instead of echoing this out, we can say, let's remove that. I'm gonna put a paragraph tag there. Close off that paragraph tag. Then I'll open up my PHP tags again over here, then close it off there. Then I'll just copy this. Now do that, copy that, paste that there. Then I'll open up my PHP tags there again, close it off there, put my PHP tag there, close that off there. And then make sure to open up your final PHP tag there for your end if. So we're going to get the same results as we did before, but this time we're jumping in and out of PHP. We have our if conditional check here. If A is greater than B, then we output inside of paragraph tags, A is greater than B. If that's not true, then we go to the else if. Don't forget we open up our PHP tags again because we're jumping in and out of PHP into HTML. So then here we have the else if, if A is equal to B, then we say A is equal to B. If this is not true, then we open up our PHP tags again. We have the else. And then inside of this snippet here, we have inside our paragraph tags, A is not greater than B. And then we have our end if. Go to the terminal, make sure it runs the same. And other than the fact that we have some indentation based on how we have our code set up in our editor, the output is the same. A is equal to B. And then the second option, it's inside of our paragraph tags, A is equal to B. So the result is the same in either way. Okay, so let's recap over here. Let's go back up. I'm gonna get rid of the terminal down below. So what we did is we created a file just for the demonstration of how to use the if construct. We have if else.php. Inside of that file, we open up our PHP tags. We have our two variables set. A is equal to 25 and B is assigned the value of 25. And then we have our first example of the if conditional check. If A is greater than B, then we output what's in between the opening and closing curly braces. Now, if this is not true, then we go to the else if. If A is equal to B, then we output this snippet right here. And if this is not true, then we jump to the else over here. A is not greater than B. Over here on line 14, we have an alternative syntax, which is we have our if A is greater than B. If this is true, instead of our opening curly brace, we just have a colon there. Then we close off our PHP tag. We open up some paragraph tags on the next line on line 15. And then we just output A is greater than B. Now, if this is not true, then we're going to jump into the else if over here. We open up our PHP tags. Inside of it, we have else if. And then if A is equal to B, then we have our colon, closing PHP tag right there. And if this condition is true, then we output the paragraph tags here with A is equal to B. Now, if this is false, then we jump down to this final else statement over here. Again, we open up our PHP tag. We have else, the colon, closing PHP tags. Then inside that, we have our paragraph tags. And again, A is not greater than B. Finally, we have our PHP tag over here. And concluding with the end if 
over here. So that's if else in a nutshell. It's one of the control structures that you're gonna be using quite often when coding either with PHP or any dynamic programming language. You're gonna find that it's important to learn how decision making according to PHP operates and the different ways to do that. This video is all about if, else if, and else. In the upcoming videos, we'll move on to the switch statement. Then we'll go into the ternary operator and some other options as well. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, suggestions, or comments, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.